Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to be talking about inclined planes. So without wasting much time, let's get right into it. So if we are given a plane inclined at an angle to the horizontal at an angle theta, and we have an object on the plane, this object has a weight. The weight of this object will act downwards vertically, and the weight of the object is the mass of the object times acceleration due to gravity, which is mg. And we're going to have an upward force perpendicular to the inclined surface, to the inclined plane. And this force is known as the normal force, or we can call it the normal reaction. All right. Now, this weight will be resolved vertically and horizontally. It will be resolved in this direction because this body can slide down or can be pushed upward and it will also be resolved in this direction which is opposite to the normal force now before i explain the resolving we have to understand that the angle here is the same as the angle here all right and i'll explain that now take note of something this line is perpendicular to this line so if i draw a line here to join this it means that the angle here is 90 degrees let me use a different the angle here is 90 degrees so if i say this angle is say 30 degrees you know this weight is vertically is acting vertically downwards which means that this will be 90 degrees. So if this is 90 and this is 30, this would be 60 to make 180 degrees because some of angles in a triangle should be 180 degrees. All right. So if this is perpendicular, that means this is 90 degrees. This other half will also be 90 degrees. All right. So since this other half is 90 degrees and this is 60 degrees, then this angle will be 30 degrees which proves that the angle here is the same as the angle here all right so when we resolve the weight in this direction we're going to have it as w cos theta and when we resolve it in this direction we're going to have it as w sine theta and i'm going to explain how we got that so if we bring out let's bring it out we have this we have the weight acting downwards uh, and we have the force opposite to the normal force. So if we draw a line parallel to join this line and the weight, the line parallel to this line such that we form a right angled triangle. So we have it here, and we have our angle theta, our angle theta, and here this is our weight. So let's call this place W, let's call this place X, and let's call this place Y. From our Sokatoa, Sokatoa, we know that sine theta is opposite of hypotenuse, cos theta is adjacent to hypotenuse, and tan theta is opposite of adjacent. So the side facing your angle is your opposite. So if you start with sine, sine theta is opposite, which is y over hypotenuse. The side facing your right angle is your hypotenuse, which is w. Y equals to w sine theta. And that is how we got w sine theta. Remember this line is parallel to this line. All right, so that's how we got W sine theta. Cos theta is equal to adjacent. Adjacent is y. I mean, adjacent is x rather. X over hypotenuse W. So x equals to W cos theta, and that's how we got W cos theta. Now let's take note of this formula. Coefficient of friction. 
coefficient of friction and it is represented by this symbol mu and it is equal to frictional force frictional force I'll write that well divided by the normal force all right now looking at this inclined plane if we assume this body to be sliding downwards a force will oppose that motion and that force is known as the frictional force right so from here we can say let's represent frictional force with f let's represent the normal force with r right so the frictional force is equal to mu r so we can come here and say that our frictional force is equal to mu r so because we have an equal and opposite force our frictional force will be equal to w sine theta all right so let's call this equation one now let me write this fn as r since i represented normal force as r all right so in this case also we're going to have that r is equal to w cos theta and this is our equation two okay so from here we can conclude that our coefficient of friction is frictional force which is w sine theta all over our normal force which is w cos theta so w cancels out w and our coefficient of friction will be equal to sine theta over cos theta which is tan theta and that is coefficient and this is how we represent coefficient of friction in solving questions also we could rewrite this if we have the f to be equal to w sine theta we could write this as mu r equals to w sine theta so let's take notes let's take note of this also all right so i think we have come to the end of this video thank you very much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe leave a comment and goodbye